Welcome to the Fuzzy Wuzzy Cuddle Fest, there is Fallout 4. We will be taking a look at some mods for Xbox, including a decoration mod, as I've figured it's been a little while since we've seen any of those on the channel. I had planned for a few other mods to be included, but they didn't quite work correctly, one of which I will mention later, but it won't actually fully be reviewed. And I will tell you why. First we have Handmade Turrets by Ruined World. This adds three new turrets to the game that look like piles of junk the fire bullets. Don't take any offence, as this is exactly what they're supposed to look like. Made from old junk, these turrets were created to look more like they belonged in a Fallout 4 settlement, since having advanced looking military grade turrets in one settlement does seem a little strange considering everything else you build in your settlement looks like a bull ran through a crappy old bric-a-brac stall. We have the Mark 1, a single shot turret that fires around at the same rate as your common pipe rifle, but don't let that put you off, as when I pinned it against a few super mutants, it did manage to fight them off pretty quickly. They are tougher than they seem. The Mark 1 is the basic of the three new turrets, and like the basic of the vanilla turrets, it needs no electricity to operate. The Mark II is an upgrade version and you can see it even looks a little different. The same rate of fire but I think it may be a little bit more powerful. It requires one electricity and has this sheet metal and road sign shield around it to give it the look of a better protected turret. A much better performance killing wise when up against more super mutants. Finally the Mark III, with three barrels it has the highest fire rate with a burst akin to that of the original machine gun turrets. This requires two electricity, again it has that shield around it made from sheet metal and road signs giving off that we need a turret in a hurry and all we have is junk feeling that adds a lot more realism to the Fallout 4 settlement feel. So before we go on I want to talk about one of the other mods I was going to do. I can't even remember the original name for it or who the mod author was because at the time I was only taking a look at it and hadn't written the information down. The mod was a collection of confederate decor such as flags and paintings uh, and the like. I am to assume it has been flagged as it didn't seem like the mod author was ever worried enough about a backlash to take it down themselves. I was about to jot down some information about it when I saw that it had been removed from the Bethesda website. I understand the confederate theme is quite a bit controversial for a lot of people, however I figured it would be a fine mod to do in different kinds of role play or to decorate a few settlements with it to be a part of your own Fallout 4 story. But the reason it isn't getting fully reviewed is because there is no link to list in the description of the video. I can't say hey look at this mod and it has this and it has that and not even have a link to it. So why am I telling you this? Well, the removal did knock a mod off the list for the video, I had everything all planned. Uh, leaving me with only two to review today, so I do apologise that there are only two mods in today's video, but also it is a little dry on Bethesda for mods. So finally we come to Wicked Poster, our decor mod for the video. This adds 10 new posters to the game that can be found in the wall decorations and posters. You'll have to skip all the way to the end to find these, but you will know when you come across the straight out of Diamond City poster that... There they are. I gotta say these look pretty cool and are all themed around the mod author's characters, Gene Dandridge and Rennie Jones, I hope I'm saying those right, and you can see them depicted in different art styles here. Artistically impressive and there's even a cat skateboarding with a funky looking deathclaw. Also another one there with one of the characters just smoking a cigarette and just not giving a flying fuck about something. So that's it for the video today, sorry again there were only two mods, but I will make up for it with um... I don't know, maybe I'll do some ASMR, I don't know. Check the Twitter for more. Speaking of Twitter, all my social media links are in the description, including Instagram. A big hello to any new subs, and with all that being said, I'll see you next time.